All right, we are good to go. Both players picking up their characters and Weavile and Darkrai. So this will be a really interesting matchup because Weavile, of course, you know, very agile. Can go around everything, can taunt through a lot of uh, projectiles and also uh, Night Slash their way through it. So it will be really interesting to see. Paper actually does get zoned out by Picano here. We're going in round number one. Starting off with the traps and Night Slashing in already. Kind of trying to create some space and gets it there. Swying underneath and then gets the position change. No just frame there on the hits. And it tries to set up the Dark Void, but uh, Paper just a little bit out of range and jumps, so safe. You see A is putting in work from Kakana. No just frame there on the ender, but it does get the phase change. Shadow Ball's coming out. Hands coming out. Oh no, Dark Rise frozen. It will be interesting to see how Kano utilizes his uh, Dark Pulse here because he is, has the full four orbs. Uh, so we'll see what he'll be able to really accomplish with it. Paper he is going for the first and gets the second hit of Cubo, but not able to capitalize. A lot of chip coming out from Dark Rise. He's going to go in on the 8x and get punished. Has four just rims in a row that are missed. I am sad. Paper blocking. Or, not Dave, Picano blocking. <laughs> Paper Static really concerned that Weavile is not jumping higher to get over the CA. I feel ya. I feel for ya. Alright, round number two here. Picano not doing a really effective job of zoning Paper out, but it is brawling with her. <laughs> Mainly these CAs are really uh, putting in a lot of work. Diggle it. Uh, just try to get some pressure off. It works. Gets him out of the corner. Tries to juke her out with the 2Y into the grab, but not going to get it. Corner switch and the grab. I like it. Down of going for burst and paper responding. I see. I really like the strategy by paper here. See, she's utilizing her traps to neutralize what Picano is doing as well. So not only do the traps eat the, eat the traps of Darkrai, but it puts him in a disadvantage where he needs to uh, really limit his play as well. So I really like that for Pedro. She's, re she's really putting him in a box. So I really like that. And he goes in for the homing. Picano trying to get, make sure that she gets away from him. He calls out Diglett. She gets hit by the Diglett. Wow. Alright, now Picano just feeling free to zone here, gets the net. Going for a little bit of chip, this does give Weavile synergy, so. <laughs> Paper just yelling obscenities at Picano. Picano's just trying to wear his hat, trying to have a fun time. But no, Paper's out for blood. Gets caught there with the dive kick. Kind of trying to pull off the y five by Y combo. And Paper just staring at him and grabbing him. It's the ultimate mix-up. So this round's looking very dominant here by Paper right now. See if she's able to close it out. Gets a burst. This is where she does it. Throwing snowballs at him, trying to close it out. Oh, gets hit with the hands. People, the people in the hands, the dark eye in the hands. Oh, CA's through the dive kick and he has burst. Is he gonna use burst? Yes, he is. I had to yell at him just to make sure that he was gonna use it. Like, for the love of God, please use burst. Paper taunting actually gets the synergy down. That's very important right now. So she was able to use taunt to get the synergy down. So he is doing less damage. Tries for the Q bone, not gonna bring her in. And gets hit by a rogue Hadouken. Picano, see, actually, really great job of pulling that one back. Uh, kind of looked like he was out for that round, but he was able to get a few good conversions to get back into the round. Alright, we're gonna see any switches into game number two. Nope. Straight into it. Alright. So I really like the play. I really like the the playstyles from both players. See, I would like for Picado to 
create a little bit more space. Uh, he was doing a good job towards the end where Paper really couldn't get in to close out the round. But I would just like it here in this like opening field phase is a great example of he's not really pushing Paper away, she's being very aggressive getting in. Kind of throwing out the high dukins, charging at Dark Pulse. Able to get the net but not capitalize. Jill needs right through. Fury swipes coming up, pushes him towards the corner. Just stares at him and grabs. Kind of actually lucky for Ladia or Ladios in this matchup. Uh, maybe in an attempt to lock Paper down a little bit more, but she should be able to close this out. Yeah. Maybe in an attempt to lock her down a little bit. Maybe even towards the field. Um, trying to make sure that she just gets a little more contained. But is now elected for we or for you belt all, so really just trying to stop the burst activation. Throwing the hands, getting some chip, keeping it in field. Paper wants to get in, spends the burst early, calls the reactionary belt all. Uh, not to reach, and it gets frozen, and <laughs> still enough time. Paper had enough time to go in with the homing attack. Great job by Paper. Wait. Waiting for Piccolo. Whoa. Whoa. A little too high, I guess. Just at the right angle, I suppose. Move out. Going back. Does not want to get caught by this burst. Let's see if. Uh, uh, oh, that was. Uh, I don't know if that would have reached. I don't know if that burst would have reached. That would have been the time to do it. Throwing out the hands. Throwing out the hands. Throwing out high dukins. More hands. Not able to get the hands. Paper not catching these hands. Ugh. Oh, just out of range. Three strikes gets blocked. And then knock off. No, not knock off. Fake out. Not being blocked. Or back dashed. That's just that. Ten seconds left. Uh oh, she's Oh, oh, she was too early. She has that burst and then just puts an icicle in his head. Weavile over here clapping with her feet. Very excited. Paper, once again, even though she won, is yelling obscenities. There's pandemonium happening throughout the venue. So we'll see how we had adapt. We went to the character select screen and we are able to see the break scene switch. So you Kind of the same sort of, kind of plays a very zony break scene, so kind of around the same play style. Uh, of course, field phase will be a little bit more aggressive, but overall, I'll see pretty similar. And aggressive is right as he goes right in for the boomerang. <laughs> Does not elect to go backwards, <laughs> elects to go straight forward with that taunt, on that taunt reaction. Kind of just catching a lot of these really uh, random hits. <laughs> Uh, but it's not able to avoid that ice trap and gets knocked off for his trouble. The con er, paper sack going right underneath the Emolga. Flying away, embers, fire blast for the Oki, yes. Goes backwards that time, hits with some embers. Not charging the sunny day, not electing to charge the sunny day after the light swing attempt. Yes, yeah, so he kind of just. just <laughs> Zoning, but Paper just agility right through the fire spin. Flying away. Kano does not want any part of this. Oh, that was a grab attempt. Kind of missing a lot of spacing. Uh, there's been a lot of times throughout the set that Paper has gone for a move that has. Uh, just been like landed at his feet basically and has not been able to capitalize with a grab or any other punish. The paper one set or one match away from taking the whole set. Picano's like, I'm going in, <laughs> runs right through the ice trap, does not care. Just, I don't care about your ice trap. I don't care. Paper is like, alright, I'm gonna play keep away. With the ice pillars. Taunts him. Continues to taunt. Calls for the burst. Chip, might as well. Safe. 
and then it calls out the little brother. Doesn't punish. She calls her Dragonite. Not able to capitalize. <laughs> Knocked off. Knocked off right over the top of the fire blast. This is great. Alright, full combo there on with the knockoff ender. Oh, oh, able to take him out right, take paper sack out of the air with that counterattack. And once again, kind of set him the fire spin and the paper just agility right through. It just hits him with the broom. Hits him with the raw Nimbus 2000. Oh, that was an agility. This is close. Let's get it happen. Oh, gets caught by a rogue side wave. Game three, final round. Woo! Kama's gonna hit her with that Nimbus 2000. Oh, miss it. Miss it again. Up, oh, gets hit by the Astra. Homie attack in. Paper has wall advantage. Whoa! I like the position change there from Paper to avoid the tracking on JX. Dragon it coming out. This is the one with light screen. Whoa. Ballsy call, but he at least didn't waste the Emolga. Slides under. And grab. The paper special stare and grab. Paper has about oh, a little under half synergy left. Whoa, gets hit with a Nimbus. No! Oh, Miss times the release of the CA. Takes it around. Bacano is furious, throwing his cappy all over everybody. He's throwing his cappy on the TV. He now possesses the TV. His soul is ingrained within that television screen.